this is Dan with Wise Money Tools. Thanks for joining us today. Now, I'm sure you hear the woulda, coulda, shouldas all the time, just like I do. You know, I could have bought Apple stock when it was $10 or Bitcoin when it was a dollar, or even I even hear, I could have bought Bitcoin at $5,000 or that piece of real estate. It was only $100,000 years ago and today it's worth a million. Well, I'm sure you hear all that too. It's, it's a cry of the wish I would haves, right? Well, those who didn't pull the trigger soon enough are always gonna be the wish I would haves. There are two such examples of that in real estate just in the last 20 years. You know, after the crash of 2000, there were some great buying opportunities and those that took advantage of it became the new millionaires. Then again in 2008, when both the stock market and real estate took a beating, there were more millionaires created and some millionaires even became billionaires. And so it will likely happen in this coming year of 2023. The feds have created another real estate debacle with their increasing interest rates so quickly. People literally were stopped in their tracks. What was a booming market for the last four or five years basically halted overnight. Mortgage rates were nearly doubled and that took a lot of home buyers right out of the market. But you know what? This is gonna turn around. It's gonna be another opportunity for those who take advantage of it. In fact, I'm in the process of creating a real estate fund myself to do just that. I wanna pull investors together to take advantage of this opportunity. Now, I realize there are so many people out there who wanna get involved in real estate, but they don't have the time, the experience, and the knowledge to really get after it. Not everyone wants to manage property or build houses, and I get it. And that's why we create these funds, so that you can be an investor without the day-to-day -day management. We do all of that. We're used to it. I've taught people for decades how to utilize their life insurance policies for just such opportunities. You know, there's no better place to store your capital than a well-designed life insurance policy. Then you can take advantage of the opportunities that come along. And the best part is when you have access to that cash value, you get to jump on these opportunities. There are also those who are uh, maxed out. They can't get any more premiums into their policies. The insurance companies aren't gonna let them have any more death benefit based on their health or financial reasons. Now, years ago, I started using my policy to start and grow a home building company. And we've literally grown exponentially over the years. But I put a team in place and now we build some very, very nice homes here in Idaho. Then of course, just a few months ago, the feds come along, they essentially destroy the market and the economy. So what do I wanna do? I wanna pounce on this opportunity. This isn't gonna last forever, so now is the time. So again, by starting this fund, what we wanna do is buy up single family and multifamily homes. I like to use banks' money for nearly every real estate deal, but right now it makes more sense just to purchase the properties for cash and then take the rents as cash flow. Now the advantage our investors are gonna have is we're gonna be able to put the homes into the fund at cost. Yeah, you heard that right. We're gonna build the homes at some of the best prices we've seen in years, and then they're gonna be owned by the fund. Then while we're waiting for things to happen, we're gonna rent them out, we'll distribute the cash on a quarterly basis for the rents. Then when we're back to normal, we'll either refinance and pull the cash out or sell the properties for a profit. This is a way to capitalize on what the feds did to the real estate market. You know, there are billionaires like uh, Grant Cardone and Robert Kiyosaki and others who love real estate and they think this might be the biggest opportunity that we've had to get involved in real estate for years to come. The reality is we keep stretching and stretching and stretching this rubber band on supply. You know, that we didn't even catch up from what has happened in 2008. We still needed more homes before the feds did what they did. We're so far behind demand that all the feds did was take people and make them take a step backwards and figure out how they're gonna make a purchase. The market still wants to buy houses, but they're adjusting to the new interest rates. So really now's the time to take advantage. And people will eventually adjust. The first home I bought, my mortgage was 11%, maybe even a little higher. I hope they never get back to those levels, but my point is that people will buy as they adjust to the mortgage rates. 
and I don't want to miss this one and you shouldn't either. So if you want to talk about how this fund's going to work, how you can turn it into a moneymaker for you, then feel free to reach out. We're in the process currently of working with our attorneys to get all the docs in order and then being able to accept investor funds. So what the fund's gonna do is acquire properties at cost. It's gonna build homes for even cheaper than we were six months ago. All the subs are in on this with us because they wanna stay busy and they're willing to reduce their prices as well. Then we'll get some cash flow via rents until this market recovers and gets moving again. I don't think it's going to take long and we'll get that equity appreciation back in the properties. Then eventually we can either refinance if that makes sense or just sell them and pull out the cash. In the end, we expect it to be a double digit return fund, be safe inside of properties that we own with no liens or mortgages. And our plan is to have at least 20 homes and 18 duplexes within the first year. This is one of those opportunities that you and I both don't want to look back on and say, woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? We don't want to wish we would have done something. It's a safe way to get involved in real estate and could prove to be a perfect time as well. So reach out with any questions and let's get after this. Send me an email at dan at wisemoneytools.com. I'll respond as quick as I can and let's see what this opportunity is going to bring to you. Take care.